plop down whatever you want, as long as it complies with the watershed and other environmental health regulations and whatnot. But the open use process would have a conditional use permit component, as we discussed, that requires a public hearing and uh, meeting the findings and standards of the, that the state statutes put out for granting conditional use permit. Public involvement, public notice. Okay. Any other uh, changes? We're talking about the changes to the uh, five different options. Okay, so I'll consider uh, them adopted by this committee with the change. Uh, I made three minor changes, and you made the change with the uh, interim uh, zoning being placed up front and not having it um, options three, four, and five. Okay. Thank you. And anything else on the different options? Uh, uh, as a pro for option number one, do nothing at this time. I put down allow for zoning only in areas where citizens desire zoning. That goes back to what we've talked several times about the fact that. Uh, citizens can request zoning if they've got 640 acres or basically a square mile. So, um, as as growth happens in the county, and the thing about saying second fastest growing per county, uh, percentage wise that may be true, but I'll take a look at if number wise that's correct. Because when you have a low number like 60,000, and you compare it to a county that has hundreds of thousands, they may actually number grow more than our larger percentage because a percentage of 60,000, 1% 1 of 60,000 is of course less than 1% of... Yeah, we're an average size county, so of course Wake County and Mecklenburg County, there's more total people, but not necessarily on a percentage basis, but we are an average size county. Okay. You know, there are 100 counties in North Carolina, 9 million people, so that's average 90,000 people per county. Okay, the other question is, you mentioned that we're the only county surrounded by other counties that is not zoned. How many total counties in the state are not zoned? Is that 20? We, we, have a, we had a map on that um, from a previous... I remember 18 or something. something I think it's like 26. Is that not correct? I just have to give you a moment. It's in the 20s. Yeah. yeah. In the 20s, all right. It's, 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 it's about 20. 20. In some counties, like um, Alamance County, which is the only one that borders us that is not fully zoned, there's two large cities that are artifact zoned, and in addition, they have the heavy use ordinance that regulates, that uh, is actually very prescriptive in, uh, uh, for many, many heavy industrial uses. So, in, in that sense, uh, the part of the county that's unzoned is the least restrictive of any. Uh, county that borders us of the eight counties. Right, and I think that came up what came up at the meeting. Um, who's the name of the gentleman that um, next to the gun range? Um, Tony. Tony. Yeah, he brought up, he brought up the, the situation about the gun range and how they fought it. And also, I think uh, Miss Diane had mentioned Diane had mentioned at the county commissioner meeting yesterday that that was one of the things that brought up about uh, possibly controlling gun ranges with the use of ordinances in, instead of zoning. Um, I don't think you said instead of zoning. No, I just said a gun range, uh, commercial gun range. Commercial gun range, oh, and, that, and that you said that you were going to put that aside until this committee moved along. Is that correct? Uh, I don't remember saying. Uh, well, I might have, yeah, said this committee still has work to do. Right. So we need them to see what the, what's going to come out. Um, they had a group of citizens, about 50 folks, at Crutchfield Crossroads last week that met, um, and a discussion came up about zoning, and the, the, the discussion came up about, you know, gun ranges and the fact that some of the farmers can shoot their guns because they have enough property, but they did not have a problem with commercial gun ranges as long as there were certain measures put into place. Now again, that fits in with the ordinance item that was brought up at the last planning board meeting. I mean, uh, you know, I think that's something that uh, maybe the county does want to move forward with is a commercial gun ordinance. But that's, uh, 
issue that's independent from this. And, and isn't it true that all of the things that would be addressed perhaps in a, in a gun ordinance or in a gun range, commercial gun range ordinance, could be addressed in a zoning ordinance? You know, so even in an open well, use? Zoning. Yeah, so those things would be covered um, with zoning. I don't know, would they? Yes, if you make that, uh, put that on the list of the conditional, uh, if you put that on a list of conditional uses, yes, it would. Okay. So this, this part is done. Now to move on to the second part of the meeting, I, do you, do you agree, committee, and uh, it shouldn't be a unilateral decision by me, do you agree, committee, that we should have um, express our preference for any of these options in our report to the full planning board? Well, I thank you to just say that uh, what's your first preference, second preference, and third preference? Five. Yeah. Well, no, just each uh, individual. Each individual. Okay. Yeah. I think we should wait and present it to the whole board, the whole planning board. And maybe do that at the full planning board? Yeah, and let the board make the recommendation. In other words, we'll be voting on it twice, you know. And discussion at the of the full board may uh, clarify people's minds and stuff like that about what their what their preference might be. But we do have some non-planning board members on this committee. Well, that's true. 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 To, to send it along, and, and I'm not, of course I am a little curious, could we even achieve any consensus <laughs> on the options, but um, I mean, I, I have a, a preference, but you know, I'm not sure how, I'm we know happy what, to talk about it. We know what your preference is, what you advocated for. It. That's right. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I'm sure you'll be happy to pass that along to <laughs> If it's informal, we might find there is a consensus and they're in yeah, harmony knowing that. Yeah, it could be informal. Is that, uh, I mean, what do you think? It's a, it's a double-edged sword, obviously. And uh, it isn't meant to be a decision. It's, it's meant to be uh, sort of a strong man, as they call it, if, if we wish to do that. <coughs> I agree with Bill I don't, and Candy. Uh, I don't think that was something we were, that wasn't something that they, the, the, the planning board directed us to do. They told us to come ahead with, put, put ahead options. I mean, if somebody wants to voice their opinion, that's fine, but that we weren't, that's not what we were charged with. Well, part of that is to, to give a, a preference. We've been working on this for, Five months, five meetings. So, yeah, I mean, one of the points of having a subcommittee is so that you have a, a group of people who look at things in depth and think about them and research them and do their homework and then come back. So, and so I, I think it would be appropriate to, you know, if, if we each wanted to give our opinions and, and that, if that wouldn't be. A vote. It wouldn't be a recommendation. It would just be a kind of a holding of the board. Tammy, I mean, comfortable or uncomfortable with that? Well, right now, I'm a little bit with both of them, and I wouldn't both sides. I wouldn't even know what's suffer. Well, you could, you know, it, it, you know, I guess it's part of it. You know, it's not. Well, if it's not a formal no. thing, this, it's, it's, you know, it's not required, it's you said, number one, yeah. to say which, which ones resonate more with you, given the, I mean, your reading of, of 
issues that are facing town and county. Yeah, you know, because you know, we obviously expressed opinions indirectly uh, throughout the course of our deliberations over the past five months, but this is a little more of a direct opportunity. Well, let me say, I, I mean, Gene made the point, we weren't asked to make a recommendation to the planning board. <clears throat> I'm not even sure whether the planning board was asked to provide a, a priority option to the commissioners or whether they were just asked to provide options to the commissioners. Uh, and I think if we start saying what our preferences are without going through the whole process, it looks like we've made up our minds ahead of time. And we haven't heard, we haven't done all the hearing from the public. It's true. Um, and I think uh, this is something that we've studied. Now we pass it to the full planning board to study, and they pass it to the county commissioners who are, that's where the buck stops. They're the ones who have to make the decision. Uh, we can make a recommendation if they ask. Certainly if they ask, we should make a recommendation. If they don't, the full planning board should maybe decide if they want to make a recommendation. That's what I think. 